Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 10th, 2023. So, I'm going to make other videos about angel numbers and angelic number portals and splitting timelines because that's all starting now. Hi! Well, it's actually started before, but we're going to really be seeing it starting now. So having said that, I have explained to a lot of people many, many, many times that come the fall going into the holiday season just in general that's a very busy time for me to be doing readings people give them as gifts all of that good stuff and that's beautiful but there's also the 1010 portal the 1111 portal and the 1212 portal so <laughs> if you want to get ready for all of that now would be the time if you want a standard reading go to angelsouls444.com I'm laying off the promos now. I've been doing those for a few months. Okay, so we're going to go back to standard everything. Okay, <laughs> you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com if you would like to schedule a live reading. Unfortunately, I've had to put some harsher restrictions in place because people pretty consistently pay for a half hour and then they take up an hour, hour and a half. They do that by turning on the tears sometimes acting like they're in crisis and so I feel bad getting off the thing and it's all manipulation so or they say they're gonna pay and then they don't so we're just you know it, whatever you pay for that's the time if you pay for a half hour and you decide you want more time which happens with with clients ask me if it's possible you know if I don't have a client right after we can continue on but new rule you have to pay for it before we continue I tried to do the honor system People are not acting from their integrity, all right? They're acting from entitlement. Can't do it, all right? Plus, it's just a drain. I know you know that. <laughs> if your boss expected you to work with no pay, you wouldn't like it either, right? So that's that. And I want to also quickly say here, thank you to everybody who's subscribing to me on Substack. It's so funny. All of a sudden, people started subscribing over there. And so now I'm like, oh, I better get over there and start writing again because it was really quiet <laughs> for the longest. So anyway, so what we're gonna do here, we are going to do an overall message for this week and then we'll break it down into three groups. Forgive me, I don't know why I keep forgetting to put timestamps in. I don't know why it won't go in my brain. Okay, but sometimes some very gracious viewer puts the timestamps in the comments. Bless you, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So let's see what's going on here. This is a week of a lot of changes. So check with uh, your favorite astrologer as well. Uh, it's always interesting to see, because I'm not an astrologer, but it's always interesting to see how the angelic messaging matches up with any transits, all that good stuff. But I do definitely feel, one, that the angels and archangels are very active, very active. So it almost has the energy of we're putting together a big event. Not a bad event, but I mean, that doesn't mean that something wouldn't happen out in the world, but for a lot of people helping us see what we need to see. So we have King of Fire. We'll talk about that for this week. Ten of Air and ending. So let's go back to that 1010 portal that everybody seems to go crazy over. Check out my other videos. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go over all of that, but this is an ending. And the reason why I really wanted people, oh, am I like off center here? I'm sorry, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, that's horrible. Anyway, the reason why I keep telling people, you know, don't wait until the pinnacle of these energy, if you wanna call them a portal, a vortex, it's a collection of energy. Don't wait until the pinnacle to start doing stuff. There's an end of a situation now, okay? All right, seven of air, we'll read all these, I just wanna get them and the High Priestess. Okay, so working on our intuition is uh, really gonna help out. Okay, so let's, let's get more. It feels like a positive time for the most part, but I'm hearing uh, game time, like it's game time. So think about whether you're into sports or you're, if you've ever done performing of any, like you do theater or you're a singer or whatever, or you've had to give a presentation or what have you, that nervousness you have of like, oh gosh, I got to get up and do this. Or maybe you're really great at it and you're like, yeah, I'm pumped. <laughs> Whatever it is, there's that um, like intensity, right? 
And so something is sort of snapping around, going in a different direction. And if you're not, first of all, let me say, remember I said people who aren't acting from integrity, that's going to come back on you. That is definitely going to come back on you. There's no getting away with anything. <laughs> the universe sees everything. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, and then we have orange. Nurture yourself. All right, so let's put these in order and let's see what the story is that's playing out here. We start off with the King of Fire, which then goes into the Ten of Air in this deck, okay? So motivational, idealistic, this King of Fire, ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate with vision, be a leader, advice from someone creative. I feel like I want to read these two together because this is sort of you stepping, let's say stepping into your power. I don't know. Um, <laughs> or having some fresh insights, realizing, okay, not everything is what it seems or not everything is as cut and dry as I had once thought. So 10 of air, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. The, just these two alone feels like during the duration of this week, there's something that you're tired of doing. And so you get the strength to say, no, I'm going to be in command of my own passions, creativity. You know, that's what this represents. It is sacral chakra. It, it is the sacral chakra. So it's this energy. This is all going together. And this says, nurture yourself. The number is 16, reduces to seven. That's archangelic energy. All right. So you're, you're bringing an end to something. And I'm trying to think of an example like... Okay, I got a perfect one. So what I was just talking about at the beginning of this video, like people wanting me to work but not getting the pay and my bills are coming up. And I, I was thinking like, okay, I'm, I'm done stressing with this, right? It's not it's a piece of paper just moved by itself on my desk. I'm just going to say, <laughs> excuse me. All right. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about this anymore. You know what? I'm the one who kept saying, yes, I'll read for you, knowing how they are, you know, in some cases. Um, so I need to set those boundaries. And the other thing that I decided to leave behind is worrying about the bills. You know, like, it'll all come together. It will work out. I don't, putting that energy behind it is not going to help anything, right? So that's like an example of something that you might go, enough. Now, for some of you who are watching, could this be an ending that you did not see coming? Absolutely. Absolutely. So make sure, I mean, listen, if you don't want to work with me, awesome. Just make sure you're working, you know, if it's by yourself or if you're working with another practitioner, if you do want me to be your angelic medium, you know what to do. It's at the beginning of the reading, angelsouls444.com. So then we have a seven of air here, plans that need revision. See, I'm not doing this approach anymore. I'm not taking this anymore, right? So it's nice, but it might be a little uncomfortable. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Some of you might take that king of fire to like next level and you sort of go out in a fiery blaze of glory. I don't know, like if you're one of those people that sends a cake saying I quit with some nasty saying on it to the office. I, maybe not, maybe don't. But the seven of air, especially in this depiction, um, let me read the whole thing. Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye. This is you getting more insight. Poor timing. Okay, so this is getting off the merry-go-round. I like how this is coming up. Now, this won't be the same for everybody. Some people who have not been in their integrity, not been treating others with fairness or kindness, you will pay a price. You will pay a price. Something Again, the universe is ever correcting and ever balancing. So the seven of air, this is getting off the merry-go-round. I don't know if you can see that there. You're getting off the merry-go-round saying... Nope, <laughs> we're not doing this, not no more. All right, then we have the high priestess. So spiritual practice being the focus here. And even before I sat down, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people like I, I like working. I like the feeling that comes with that. But I got up this morning and I was like, you know what? I need to, you know, I need to do my own spiritual practice here for a little bit. Went out on my balcony. It's a gorgeous day out, finally. <laughs> right? So we're, I'm out on the balcony. I'm meditating. And then I just felt like, oh, like I, now I'm ready. Now I'm recharged. Let's do this. So that's the kind of thing I think this is saying. 
And the number two on here is telling you the same thing to make sure you're balanced. Archangel Haniel. Haniel. Let's talk about Haniel. So Haniel is associated with the moon phases. That can also be Gabriel. And Haniel helps us balance, just like Sandalfin does. Uh, but she's known for hormonal balance, by the way. Uh, and so she is overseeing divine feminine energy. Everyone has that within them. We all have, you know, masculine and feminine within us. So if you haven't been nurturing to yourself, right, especially in an energetic way, or you feel like people have just taken and taken and taken to the point where you're feeling wiped out, now you get a chance to rejuvenate. So that really needs to be the focus this week. And the high priestess says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. This whole story here is I'm getting off the merry ground. I'm going to redirect myself. It's not, it doesn't have to be, some of you are going to be really dramatic and let's be careful with that, okay? But others of you are just going, no. Well, I expect you to da 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 da. You've always let me take advantage of you before and it's done. We are done. Why? I'm taking care of me. You've taken too much, you get no more. All right? So that's an interesting way to start this off. We're going to end it there for the general. Let's break it down into groups. one let's see what's going on here if you didn't see the first part of uh the reading make sure you go back because it's the other half of your reading angelsouls444.com if you would like a reading with me if you want to work with me i would sign up now okay uh typically the fall well here in the northern hemisphere right <laughs> so the fall going into holiday season that tends to be very busy so if you want to get a lead on that get your requests in all right see for you guys the magician archangel raziel okay and then the lovers we'll talk about it so there's some support here okay but don't be codependent right i mean i'm just saying because like we all do it right we all go man it's really comfortable having somebody else take care of stuff i love it that's the only reason why I would ever want to be rich. Because then you can hire somebody, like a chef. To me, that's living the dream, okay? Or if I don't want to mow the lawn, you can get somebody else to do it, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. This seems awesome to me. Eight of water. This could be moving away from a situation. Maybe you're moving house. And release. Okay. I just got the feeling some of you might be this for like so few of you but some of you might be moving you might be closing on a house or maybe like I'm going to be leaving my apartment soon I'm moving so I'm trying to batch film so I make sure you guys have content always make sure you're covered but it's going to be kind of hard to release right it's, it's going to feel it's like bittersweet like something lovely is occurring but you know you're going to miss where you were for some of you okay let's see What is going on with these cards? Aqua, experience, peace, and calm. The number is 33. 33 is a master number. That is the ascended master. So leaning on the comfort, the wisdom, um, getting in tune with that so that you can be more in the flow, which is what we see here, being more in the flow. But the cards were sticky, right? They, they kind of were sticking together for some reason. 
All right. So you have pretty big change that's occurring, and it seems like it's occurring this week. Now, if you chose group one and you're like, I don't have any change coming to hell, come talk to me next week. Let's see how things are, okay? <laughs> because I know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> so first we have the Magician. It's number one. So this, in combination with that general reading, this is getting refocused, and it's beautiful. And I, oh gosh, I'm blanking on the creator's name. Oh dear. He's on YouTube, and he's on TikTok. He's the guy who's like, if this video came across to you, let me do Reiki healing on you. I, that's like a lot of creators. Anyway, he had an interesting take on Razio which is something I don't talk about. Um, Raziel being about abundance and prosperity. And yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Raziel is sort of in charge. We, we think of him as like the magician angel, the manifestation angel, but he's also kind of in charge of hidden wisdom. Um, things that seem impossible, he helps bring them in. So kind of um, bridging the gap, right? between an idea and physical manifestation, divine wisdom, you in this body, going through your guardian angels, your higher self, all that good stuff. So this is the magician. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So something is coming into your awareness where you're saying, you're saying yes to something that you wanted to create for yourself. And it's beautiful. We have the lovers here. The number is six. From an angelic standpoint, the number six talks about third dimensional ego consciousness. It talks about our density consciousness, this right here. And the lovers then takes on, I mean, do what you will with this. Everyone's going to have an opinion, I'm sure. But the lovers is kind of powerful, but not anchored. Okay, now I know a lot of tarot readers are going to be like, that's not true, it's ba -da -ba -da -ba, these stupid angel people. <laughs> Y'all pick up angel decks, so don't even try me, okay? It works both ways. But I, when we're looking at it from an angelic standpoint, the number six is density. So it is, um, I'll love you forever. It's like melodramatic and it's all this stuff. And then once those lovers kick over to the other side, like, oh, we're done with our contract, get out of here, you know? We're not doing this, right? So this is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is about the heart space. The heart space is fifth dimensional energy. We can talk about that in another video. But this is healing the heart, maybe allowing support to come in. Or if you are looking for love, maybe. Sorry, I've got I've got my disco lamp over here. Really? I've got a batch film today. You can't be. <laughs> Stop. Okay, apparently I need to buy a new bulb at some point. She's she's losing her mind over here. So anyway, enjoy the disco. Um, so Raphael helps us get in tune with our heart, allowing help to come in. Um, but <laughs> do not be codependent, all right? People who tend to really love the lover's card are the ones who can never be single. And that's going to offend a lot of people. And you know what? Too bad, okay? I'm here to do spiritual work, and I'm going to tell you I didn't make the rules, all right? So if if you're not allowing yourself to regroup in between relationships, you're not really letting the energy cleanse, number one. You're not really letting yourself restore, and you're not learning the lessons. All you're going to do is keep looping, okay? Way to bring down the lover's card, right? I'm so sorry. Okay, it says intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we do have this. But if you're not looking for love, this could just be a partnership, support, someone who has practical knowledge, okay, too. And I'm pulling that from the number six. Then we have eight of water, a desire to move on. Uh -oh. that, gets, that gets a little troublesome. If some of you are out there having affairs... You didn't hear that from me, okay? Eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Again, some of you, be careful with your choices. Just be careful with your choices, okay? You can't explain away bad decisions because the universe is ever correcting. And I've had so many people get on their high horse, they're self-righteous, and they're say, saying, you're too judgmental of this, that, and the other. I don't care what you do as long as you're not hurting anybody. Um, the universe is ever correcting. So if you're betraying someone, that will come back on you. All right? That's where we see people, they get into a relationship where it's an affair. 
and then they leave their partners and then they get together and then the partner starts cheating on them and they're like so unfair is it <laughs> is it i don't know you just got to be careful you got to be careful all right like every situation is different of course but you got to be careful so then we have the number 13 reduces to four there's a whole lot of stay in your i can't say it enough stay in the integrity not in a self-righteous way but in what's fair ask yourself is this fair is this fair for everybody involved right uh, release Archangel Osriel transformation, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Um, yikes. Oh dear. Okay. So I said this could be a move. This could be a move. Um, but with this, what does this say? Experience peace and calm. Some of you might, this might be the week. All decisions are yours. Do not make decisions in your life based on a general reading on the internet okay when i got on the internet in 2013 as a profession okay it was to showcase what i could do it was a sampling and then social media took off and became a business unto itself so please keep that in mind even though it's become popular it doesn't necessarily still mean that it's the right thing to just Okay, so anyway, um, some of you are leaving relationships. Some of you are leaving relationship patterns behind. So if you are single, this is the week where you realize, why haven't you wanted to date? Maybe you'll make a decision and say, I just don't want to give in to that, you know, that societal narrative that says you're nothing alone, right? And maybe you have something to learn from that. Or maybe if you've been alone, you say, you know what, maybe I'm ready to partner up with somebody. Here's the kind of partner I want. So all that could be playing into this. Plus there's that message of a move. But there is a decision you are making this week and you're moving on. There's so many cards in here to indicate that. So let's move on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. If you did not watch the beginning part of this video, that is half of your message. Make sure you go back and check that out. Angel Souls. 444.com if you would like to work with me an angelic energy um have an angelic encounter through your reading all of that is possible but whatever you choose whether you work with me or someone else make sure you're working on it okay we have very interesting times coming up and i'll make a whole video about that <laughs> okay so we have page of earth so this is a restart so for some of you this you know because earth has to do correlates with money abundance material resources all that good stuff so this is um trying something new could be a new job it could also be a new approach to how you live okay and how huh okay i just got a little bit of a message here that someone is starting a new practice a new spiritual practice as well but this is learning what you truly need in this material world to get by okay it's a scholarly dependable patient successful good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so again this feeling here if i'm going to try something new uh it might be i was saying a new job but it might be something that is a new a new type of industry uh like if you were used to having more hands-on work and now you've become the supervisor, that might be an adjustment. And even though for some of you this might be a promotion, you still feel brand new and like there's a lot to learn, okay? But so far so good. Let's see what else you have going on here. Four of water, missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. This is getting locked down in our perspective. And I see it all the time with the reading requests that I get. No, what's in front of me is all there is. And as I'm reading, I'm like, no, there's another opportunity. It has to be in this, end of, or it doesn't have to be, but it's in this direction. And they'll say, nope, nope, that's not me. Nope, nope, I won't do it. Six months later, hey, I thought you were crazy when you said that, but you were right. Lift your head up, okay? <laughs> there's something new with the page of Earth there with the Four of Water. It could be something like out of left field, like, oh, I never, I never would have considered that. That's why this whole week, the whole theme is about a new perspective. And sometimes that new perspective can come through someone else, right? So you don't see yourself as capable of doing X, Y, and Z. 
someone else does. All right. So don't just uh, don't self sabotage. Okay. <laughs> don't don't say no to something before you explore it. You know, obviously be discerning. But so we have the high priestess again. This was, I believe, from the first one. The uh, overall. Uh, the number is two, balancing, and it's Archangel Haniel. Go back and see the first part for what Haniel oversees. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Again, something's being presented to you, and it's going to take a lot of sort of you time to sit and go, okay, I have to, is this, I have to look at what is right for me. Um, would I be happy doing this? But this... I don't know why this is coming up. It's not reflected in the cards. Just another message that's coming up for you guys. Exploring the more density consciousness part of yourself and admitting certain truths, right? I mean, like this is, I was just thinking about this this morning. I was like, dang, I'm really territorial. Like I'm one of those people, if I invite you to my home and you randomly show up with other people, rude, okay? No. And other people have a different perspective on that. They might be like, oh, the more the merrier. I think it's rude. <laughs> it's so rude. Or, you know, you're supposed to have a girl's night out and someone brings their husband. Rude. Again, other people think otherwise. You're probably one of the people who you don't think about others' comfort. You just show up with what makes you comfortable. I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, like this is that kind of thing that I had to admit to myself. And where do I have some ground to set that boundary and where am I just a little like feeling control and wanting to fight back right which let's admit when somebody brings extra people it's usually for control to show that I'm taking over this situation if you don't agree with it maybe examine yourself you don't have to agree with me but I'm saying like don't just shut it down or bring back negativity around it really examine what I'm saying here about how often people are like oh it's okay with me so therefore it has to be okay with everybody feel me all right, <laughs> unity, the number is five, that is change, okay? So again, there's a theme going on here. Archangel Sandalfin, uh, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So again, it's interesting, I was just giving that example, right? So where can we meet each other halfway? If you're somebody, going along with that example I just gave, if you're somebody who thinks like, oh, Everyone's always invited, like what the heck? Maybe stop and ask yourself, are you a little too inconsiderate, right? Did you stop and think that other people might not be comfortable with that? Or if I'm very territorial, some people would um, assign rigid, which it's not rigidity, it's boundaries, I think. But where do I go too far with those boundaries? And it starts to get into the territory of being rigid. And what does that have to, like I've been controlled my entire life. I tend to act out when people are trying to control me. I tend to be like, no, I'm gonna set a hard lesson and you're gonna be shocked and you know, whatever. So this is self-examination so that we can compromise and you know, have a better flow. But if this is a new situation of some sort, whether that's a job, a new financial opportunity, I don't know that it's love unless you chose group one that can play into this here too, but it, it's moving away. And, and I'll cover this in the splitting dimensions video that I'm going to be doing. You'll start seeing where it's like, no, I, I am not, I do not see eye to eye with what you're saying. Absolutely not. If someone came to me and said, if I'm invited to your house, I can bring whoever I want. I'm not in agreement with that. You will be asked to leave. 100% and who do you think you are right so or the other thing sorry I love pets I love dogs but I've had people just show up with their dog and I just shampooed my furniture uh, like, and didn't tell me didn't ask me well you shouldn't be telling me you should be asking if it's okay you see what I'm saying like examining that and seeing where people are on completely different pages and how can, again, the word is compromise. How can we compromise and come together? Have some more grace for one another. Okay, so black. Find richness from the dark of night. The number is 28, reduced to 10. Uh, that could be an ending. And then we get to one. So it's starting over. Which, it's okay. This just might be a little more, I don't know, this might be heart-wrenching. 
This might be, it could be that kind of thing of, oh, here's this great opportunity, but I really like the work I'm doing now. I like the people I work with, but I know this is good for me. And it's a, it's a hard thing to move on from. This can also, I'm feeling, indicate somebody who doesn't like that you're making these changes or doesn't like that you're saying how you really feel because it doesn't fit into their narrative. And so they're giving you some backlash. If someone is one of those people who constantly just goes along to get along, you don't have to be doing that. Okay, maybe they need to have a little more consideration for you. All right, so we're gonna leave it there for you guys and move on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. If you didn't watch the first part of this video, make sure you go back and watch it. That's the other part of your message. Well, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. I just heard lost at sea. Um, usually that's sort of a metaphor to help us experience the message and not just let it land in our brains, but to actually bring it through our whole being. But because that came up and here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is summertime, please be careful around water. The oceans are mad, okay? They're mad at us. So I wouldn't, I would not, heck, I've not even really gone into the pool. <laughs> like, I'm just kind of like, eh. so just be a little careful. But I think it was more... Uh, meant to be metaphorical where you might feel like you're a little lost at sea okay the star yes you are in the process of healing you're recovering you are cleansing i think i think that's a good way of putting it so 17 is the number reduces to eight you're realizing what will make your life have more harmony more flow be more abundant <coughs> excuse me um but what direction do i really want to go in right um and if you want to think of it as like the North Star guiding, you know, it's it's all of that. So we have Archangel Jophael. Jophael is associated with beauty. And you know when you see something beautiful and you just immediately feel calm and at ease? It's probably why beautiful people get away with a lot. <laughs> but, but like you see beautiful nature and you just feel at peace. This is really what Jophael oversees along with wisdom um, forgiveness, uh, you know, opening up to divine inspiration, all of that. So it says happy times that make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So whatever you're walking away from this week, and I gotta say, I didn't say this to everybody, but I'm gonna say it to you. I was talking in the beginning about the energy portal numbers. When we talk about angelic frequencies, angelic numbers on the dates, they intensify. But 1010 started to come up for me, quite a bit. And normally I wouldn't talk about this so soon, but I've been talking about it here in July. And I've kind of just said in my head, well, it's because last year I just got really busy. Let's spread that out. So, you know, so it's an, an easier flow. But I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I think um, that energy is starting now. I really do. So maybe you're making some sort of shift based on a brand new perspective. The world... Numbers 21 reduces to three. That's wisdom. Again, Jophiel with the wisdom, ascended master wisdom. But this is Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. Something breaks open. This might be new information coming in. Something gets revealed. And now you're going, I'm not doing this. I was giving an example at the beginning. Um, I've had some clients who I've had for years. And they always, well, not always, but pretty consistently took advantage of my time if it were a live reading or they complained. Every, there was always something nitpicky that they had to whatever. Or if they got a standard reading, they come back and say, you weren't right and kind of downplay the message and then come back later and went more and more readings. Well, this week, you know, it's Sunday, so we haven't really gotten full on into the week, but I've cut them out as clients. Why? They're toxic. They're not in their integrity. They're taking advantage and they don't care. They do not care. As a matter of fact, they come with such a sense of entitlement that now that I've cut them out, I'm sure, wait for it, they might go on a smear campaign. I don't know. But, you know, I'm cutting the toxicity out so that I can leave room for clients who really want to do the work and who not only want to do the work, but appreciate that I'm showing up and doing this, right? Like there needs to be that trust and that connection there for me to be able to reflect back messages. So this might be something that you're doing this week where you're saying, 
enough. I'm done. And the world opens up for you. And it's because you've set those boundaries. It's because you're doing that healing. You're making that turn. <laughs> you get a fresh start here. The dreamer, Archangel Metatron. Obviously, Metatron's about ascension, sacred geometry, sacred scribe, the Akashic records, all kind of stuff. So Metatron is really cool to be working with. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. This could be something. Look at all this. This is beautiful. This might be something that you gave up on because someone said you weren't good enough. That's going to be a big one. Remember I said something's going to be revealed. You might suddenly remember like, hey, I wanted to be a dancer, but my dance teacher told me I was too fat and I couldn't do it. Um, and now as an adult, maybe you're still fat, but you're like, nobody tells me. <laughs> like, I want to go dance. I will dance. And it is sort of that, okay? It, it's recapturing something. Queen of air. You're being the queen, okay? Independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Uh, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves. Serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. <laughs> like your dance instructor telling you you were too fat. And now, <laughs> now you're going off and doing this for yourself. So it's a revamp. It's... Um, I'm trying to feel out if this is, it won't be this for everybody, but some of you, there is a little bit of bringing a dream back to bring it into fruition. Some of you are tweaking those dreams, um, but maybe it's something like, you know, hey, I always thought I had to be in the corporate world, and now I realize that's soul crushing, I it's not for me, and now you're figuring out how you can create your future. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right. Let's see what your color card is. For you, we have coral. So again, sacral chakra. I believe we had orange in the beginning. So it says, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine, be done, okay? You're not letting people control you anymore. You're not allowing people to hold you up. This also comes with, think about people who want to be taken seriously and respected, but they don't do anything serious or respectable, okay? Think of people who make life decisions. They take on all this stuff and then they don't want to do it. They don't want to do the work that's involved behind it. They're in love with the idea of something instead of the reality. And so when the reality sets in, they play the victim. They want everyone to come in and save them, so on and so forth. So you're cutting out all of that energy and moving on to better things. That begins this week. Yep. No more waiting. It's going to happen now. So we're going to leave it there for everybody. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.